Um, Rick. Hey, Megan. How are you today? Excellent. Happy June, Tuesday already. I know. I know. It is just, just when you thought uh, coronavirus and murder hornets and I mean, what a year we're having here. Now we've got uh, a lot of... Now this breaks out, right? Yeah, civil unrest. unrest and tragedy and... Yeah, and uh, we we live in Anaheim, so we had a lot of uh, protesters last night. Yeah, and um, they they uh, peacefully protested. Uh, I I wanted to go myself, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of all the violence, you know, I've been watching on TV. It looked pretty scary, mm -hmm. so I chose to um, not go. But geez, now I kind of wish I did because you know it looked like they were able to uh, come together and, and peacefully yeah. protest. So, so, you know, we're praying for our country and uh, for peace, you know, and for justice and equality. And, you know, the National Association of Realtors put out a piece talking about uh, fair housing. And mm. that's been a topic. You know, we get trained on fair housing and right, right. not to discriminate against people mm -hmm. or neighborhoods. Um, so we're all very, very aware of the little subtleties that somebody can right. you know, insinuate some sort of discrimination. So we're super careful about that at the yep. Association of Realtors and our training and everything. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah, right. I know. Yep. yep. Crazy. All right. So I appreciate you taking this call today. Yeah, and, thanks. um, there's a mystery acronym. I'm not really a fan of acronyms anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, even when people in my own business use acronyms with me, sometimes, you know, because it's, if it's not like one we use all the time, then you have to pause, you know. Right. I think, what in the heck are they talking about? But you, I asked you to talk to me specifically <laughs> today mm -hmm. about um, APR. What in mm -hmm. the heck? What? Why? Why do we have this? <laughs> What's the deal? It's a great, me, great question. Give me the history. Tell me what this is all about. Thank you. Sure. Of course. So APR is annual percentage rate. And so people confuse APR with note rate. They're two different animals. And so what happened was the history behind this, as I recall when it came out, as crazy as it sounds, but it was around 38 years ago. Uh, lenders were quoting these really low rates with, with no disclosures. And but what happened was when the consumers called about the rate, what well, was like a three point loan or some crazy, crazy high cost loan. And so that was really uh, it was creating unfair competition and unfair disclosures to the consumer. So it wasn't very transparent. Right. So consumers were sucked into calling these people on these loans that super high cost. So they came out with this weirdo calculation called annual percentage rate. And so APR is a function of those closing costs, i.e. points, escrow, title, appraisal, those typical types of closing costs, and they amortize that over a 30-year period. So uh. it's the cost of the loan amortized over 30 years, and that gives you the quote-unquote annual percentage rate. Okay, so it's a good calculation to at least be aware of, and, and borrowers will call me and go, hey, Rick, what's the APR today? It's like, wow, that's a loaded question. I, it, there's so many factors involved, right? But here's the important thing to know. APR is, is a function of the cost. The APR is, does not determine your mortgage payment. What determines your mortgage payment is the note rate. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you have a note rate of, say, um, let's say, for example, 3.25, you might have an APR of 3.375 or some fraction of that nature, right? But even though you have a, say, for example, 3.375 APR, your note rate would be 3.25 in that example. And that 3.25 is what determines your monthly payment, mm -hmm. not the APR. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so we talked about last week about points, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about that. So let's say you're going to charge two points. Okay. And let's say you're, uh, let's say maybe you're at two points, your rate might be a 2.875 rate, right? So I can call it a 2.875 rate. That sounds great. But the APR is probably going to be around you know, 3.375, 3.4, something in that range, okay? So you have a higher APR because of the higher cost. That's right. So conversely, if you've got a low cost loan, 
your APR is going to be very, very close to the note rate. Okay. But right. always what prevails in terms of your payment is the note rate, not APR. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. And you know, next week, thank you for the APR explanation. I have no questions because it's a <laughs> lot to process. But, um, but uh, next week, I want to talk uh -huh. to you about, this will give everybody a little preview. I want to mm -hmm. talk to you about paying your mortgage off early. That's, that's a great topic. Is not a great, that's my favorite topic. Okay. I love that one. All right, mm -hmm. Rick, listen, stay safe. And, you too. Uh, and uh, I thank you for your time today and that wonderful you, explanation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll talk to fun. you soon. Okay. Awesome. Bye. Thanks, Megan. Take care. Bye bye.